In this video, we're going to review how to use the radius function. Here we have the edge of a blade. We can take a look at it in 3D. I'll go back to analyze. And let's say we want to measure the radius of this part of the blade. I'm going to add a radius function. And I'm just going to draw a line across the profile I want the radius of. Now I have this show up on the graph. I have a region. I want to adjust the region until it's just part of the curve that I'm interested in. I can zoom in on the graph and make sure that the curve is fitting to the data that I want. And you can see the result of the radius function in the top right corner. I'll click the pencil icon so we can see what the advanced settings are. Here we can see we have an option for number of profiles and profile width. So one advantage of GelSight is that it's an area scan camera, so we can measure multiple profiles at the same time. Maybe I want to measure three profiles across a width of 500 microns. I'll enter three profiles and 500 and click Analyze. Here I can see on my image, I have three profile lines now. We'll zoom in there. And my top right corner shows the radius, the mean, the min, the max, and the median. I'll zoom in on my graph and I can see the plots of the profiles as well as the curves being fit. With this options window in the corner here, I can enable or disable the view of other profiles. If I want to save the data to plot this graph as a CSV file, I can click Save to File here. And now that I've measured my radius, I can click PDF to generate the PDF report results.